Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States, serving from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. He is best known for leading the nation through the American Civil War and for his efforts to abolish slavery. On April 14, 1865, while attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., President Lincoln was shot in the back of the head by John Wilkes Booth, a Confederate sympathizer and actor. As the play unfolded, Booth slipped into Lincoln's box undetected. Suddenly, he pulled out a pistol and shot Lincoln from behind. Chaos erupted as Booth jumped onto the stage and disappeared into the night, leaving behind a stunned audience and a mortally wounded president. The autopsy of Abraham Lincoln was conducted on April 15, 1865, the day after he was shot. On the evening of April 14, 1865, his body was quickly moved from Ford's Theater to the Peterson House across the street, where he had been taken after being shot. Surgeon General Joseph K. Barnes and Edward Curtis, along with other physicians, promptly assembled to perform the autopsy. The urgency of the situation, coupled with the need to gather forensic evidence while it was still fresh, prompted the immediate autopsy. The examination was thorough, with the medical team carefully documenting Lincoln's injuries and their effects on his body. The autopsy revealed some disturbing details in Abraham's autopsy report. One notable discovery was the bullet penetrated through the occipital bone, injuring the left lateral ventricle, and filled the brain with blood, leaving behind clotted blood, bullet fragments, and bone pieces, according to Abraham Lincoln's autopsy. Lincoln's body was embalmed for public display. A lock of his hair was removed. His eyes were discolored and somewhat swollen from blood accumulation, and his brain was normal but for the damaged areas. Additionally, it was reported that Lincoln's brain appeared larger than average, leading some to speculate about whether he had a unique neurological condition. However, modern medical experts believe this may have been due to postmortem swelling rather than an indication of any underlying medical condition. Another detail that may be considered disturbing is the fact that Lincoln's brain, along with other autopsy specimens, were preserved for further examination and study. While this practice may seem unsettling to some, it was not uncommon during that time period, especially for high-profile cases such as Lincoln's assassination. Overall, the autopsy of Abraham Lincoln was conducted promptly and meticulously, providing valuable insights into the tragic events of April 14. 1865, and the subsequent death of the beloved President of the United States.